Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol TRQ. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame, and it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out with levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. And in this situation, makes mapping out a very logical question quite straightforward. That question revolves around the fact that today the price has made a very, very impressive move. I mean, when you consider in that the price was all the way down here just a few days ago, and now the price is all the way up there. Like I said, any rational person would say, yeah, that, that's definitely been a good solid move. But that does bring about the logical and valid question of, but is there any sort of true power behind this price movement? Or is this just some sort of knee jerk reaction, dead cat bounce movement? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can make mapping out that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around 46 cents. And why is 46 important? Hopefully we can agree on the logic that price movements with genuine power, with true strength, the price is gonna progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. So with that in mind, think about 46 cents. If the price were to come down to 46, again, not saying it will, but if it were to go down to that area and then just continue on down, what would that be doing to the price? Well, that would literally be putting the price right back inside of that range that it just broke out from. Again, going back, not a sign of true strength. Or let's say the price came down here, behaved in this manner, and then started to work its way back upwards. What would you have in this scenario? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have those lows down there. If you envision each one of those as stair steps, well, hey, now you have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. And again, that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do over time. It's gonna make progress forward. And in this situation, quote unquote, progress being defined as 46 cents. Now, what about levels of resistance going forward? If this movement is gonna continue, where are some of these potential battlegrounds at? Next key overall area of resistance, I think it might've been rejected by today. Yeah, it looks like it was right up there at 50 cents. So if you go through the history of things, you can see 50 cents, knock down the price, knock down the price, and then fast forward to the final 30 minutes again, knock down the price. So I'm not saying 50 cents can't be broken or anything like that. I'm just saying, according to the story that's being told to us via the chart, apparently the price is really gonna need to bring its A game if it's gonna be able to break above that level and stay up above it. All in all though, anyway, look at it, definitely a nice bounce here is underway, so let's see if the bulls can continue to build upon this momentum or not. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.